Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python for Testers tutorial, we are going to learn about arithmetic operators in Python. So I've already created this Python arithmetic operators.py file and if you see the naming convention, I'll uh, also explain the best practice to name the file. So basically, uh, the previous one I have named as uppercase P and then V and uh, R. So usually if you follow the best practice of how the Python file should be named. Uh, so always try to stick to the lower case and then use the underscore in between. So you can, you know, I can change it. I can refactor the code and rename it so I can uh, follow the best practice in that particular case. Let me change it. And so now this is the proper naming convention. So basically all lower case and then we can use the underscore to make it more readable. And then that's how will be usually naming our files. If you're coming from other programming background, this is not usually what we follow. So the, all the programming languages follow different naming convention and best practices. But this is what Python usually do. Even if you go to the libraries of Python, you will see that the files are named all lowercase and then underscore used in between to make it more readable. So that's how we'll use it. Now, coming back to arithmetic operators, so these are the operators. So when we say what exactly are the operators? So operators are the special symbols which you use um, to perform certain arithmetic or logical computations, right? And operators perform or operators operate on the operand. So usually if I take a variable X and assign a value 10 to it, and then a variable Y and assign a value, say for example, two to it, right? So X and Y are the variables and then I'll define another uh, variable z and then I can use the operator. So now say for example, I have to add x and y, I can use the operators. So operators are the operators that you see on my screen. So these are the arithmetic operators plus minus multiplication division. So these are the symbols that we'll use to uh, operate on the operands and here operands will be x and y. So basically 10 and 2 are the operands, right? So if I want to add these two operands, what I'll use is I'll use the operator plus, right, which is the addition operator in Python. So I can say x plus y, right? And if I want to see the value of z now, so if I, I, I'll print the value of z and run this particular code, then I will see the value of z printed as 12, right? So this is what the arithmetic addition operator is in Python. Now, if I want to sub subtract, then I'll simply use the negative or subtraction operator and then print the value of the Z. You can see the eight is printed, okay? Similarly, for the multiplication, it is also very simple. If you want to multiply two values, so X and Y are the operators, op operands and multiplication symbol is the operator right and this is the assignment operator so assigning whatever result you are getting out of this operation is getting assigned to another variable with it, which is z and then we are printing z in the console right so let's run again and print the value now you can see that multiplication of 10 by 2 or x and y is 20 and 20 is getting printed now we have another operator which is division right so forward slash so operand x divided by operand y and let's run this particular code and you can see five got printed right now the other operand um, uh, operator that is very important is the remainder operator so remainder what it does is it will return the remainder so if the numbers are not fully divisible so in this case 2 10 divided by 2 is fully divisible so uh, 2 times 5 is 10. So remainder is 0. So in this case, 0 will be printed, right? Now, say for example, if I assign the value 12 to x. So now the, in this case, not 12, sorry, I'll make it uh, 13. Uh, now in this case, it is not fully divisible. It will return 1 in this case, right? Because 2, 6 times 12, and then 1 is remaining. So that's what remainder or modulo operator does, okay? Now, when it comes to exponentiation, so usually multiplication is single uh, star. If you want to exponentiate or use the exponentiation, then you use the double stars and then it this 
means is the the operand x uh, is exponentiated by y so 13 uh, exponentiation of 2 and then if you run it you will see the result accordingly right so these are some of the python arithmetic operators which are very important to understand very simple to understand nothing too big or too complex about these operators you need to practice them on your own the other important thing is if say for example i want to increment so now say for example whatever the value of z is i'll print it and then let's say, let's say for example i'll increment the value okay so i say z is equal to or i want to add certain values to it so i i'll say z z plus so for example i want to add five to whatever the result is okay and then again print z so what will happen in this particular case it will print the initial value of z first which is from this particular operation then it will add five to it and print the next value okay now this is there is a shortcut to do this as well. So what we can do is we can also say Z plus and then equal to Z, right? So what this means is, uh, sorry, equal to five, right? So what this means is whatever the value of current Z is, increment the current value or add five to that particular current value, right? So if I say, for example, I comment this out, let me comment it and the result will still be 174, right? So similarly, you can do for the minus or uh, the multiplication, uh, sorry, subtraction or multiplication or division or modulo. So all those operators you can use. So for example, here, I want to subtract five out of the full value or the current value that is there. I'll use the negative operation there and then it will be subtracting five from this z that is calculated here okay the other important thing is say for example i want to negate the value okay so current value of z is 164 i want to negate the value okay so what i'll do is i'll simply use the negation operation there okay and i'll say minus z print minus z and it will print negative 164 right so that's how you will basically use these arithmetic operators and I can directly print it or I can define another variable say for example a and I can store negative value of z in a and then print a right so this is important say for example in your automation script you want to negate certain values and use those values in future this is these are some of the key tricks that you will be utilizing so I'll be using this I'll be using the negation in case if it is required I'll be using a lot the arithmetic operators in the automation scripts and assignment operators will be for sure used in each and every script of automation selenium with python so that's why this is very important now these lines if you see these are the comments so I'll quickly cover the comments as well so these are the single line comments and in PyCharm if you want to comment quickly the number of lines simply select the lines and press control forward slash to uncomment and then control forward slash again to comment all of those lines okay now for multi-line comments python doesn't have the syntax as such for multi-line comments but you can use the string or multi-line string basically so what you can do is to do the multi-line comments is you can use triple quotes right so we can do something like this and then you whatever you write in between these two multi-line quotes will be treated as multi-line comments right so that's so you can say this is multi-line comment so whatever you write in between this will be treated as multi-line comments so the best thing is to basically practice these arithmetic operators and understand some of the key concepts that I have explained in this particular tutorial and practice them. Try to go through the documentation and see what other operators are there. But these operators, you need to understand them and be comfortable in using them before we can move ahead to the Python or Selenium Python tutorial. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.